All right, guys, for this example, we're going to go through the loop measure file. So if you open loop measure, it looks something like this, where you have a slotted curve shape and a polygon on the bottom with a plane through the center. All right, so some types of questions like this are for measuring loops. So if we need to measure a loop, if it already has a plane in it, all we need to do is double click on that plane in the browser. Right, it'll show our yellow loop right around here on this plane. We need to measure it. So we need to go to our inspect tab and measure. Right, to measure the actual length of the loop, we can click on the line, right click on the next one, select other, and then select the curve loop. So then our length will be right here. All right, if it asks you to measure the length of the loop without giving you the work plane, we would, let's pretend, delete this one. If you want to practice, we could start with a plane. Offset from plane. Depending on the question, it may ask you to do it from a different surface. We're going to start from down here. We're going to make it 0 0.4 and hit enter. From here, if we start a 2D sketch on this work plane, usually remember you have to click on the edge or over here. All right, if you notice, we don't have those yellow lines, so we need to project our geometry, but we want to project those cut edges. And once we do, we get those nice yellow project geometry lines, which we can, again, measure. We we'll click on one, right-click on the next, select other, and get that curve loop. And then we're done.